Remember when you were a kid and used to think that six figures was considered extremely, extremely wealthy? I don't know about you, but I know I definitely did. And look, six figures is still a good amount of money, but it's kind of crazy to think about how much money you actually need to be considered wealthy in today's day and age. Inflation is a real thing, but also there was a time in my life, and I'm sure probably in yours as well, where being a millionaire was kind of like the most mysterious thing in the world. Like it seemed so, so, so cool when you're younger. So CNBC conducted this survey for this article that they created about how people perceive wealth all across the United States. And it's kind of interesting here are some things that the article found. To feel wealthy, Americans say you need a net worth of at least 2.2 million on average. I guess that makes sense. I mean, if you think about $1 million, depending on where you live in the country, $1 million can definitely go a much longer way in some places than in other places. Me being based on New York City, I know that a million dollars doesn't even go nearly as long of a way as I would like it to. This does sound about right, but let's go even deeper into the article. So the article breaks down 12 major cities across the US and how much money people are perceived to need to be considered wealthy in that exact city. So that 2.2 number that I gave you in the beginning of this video was only the average. Now we're gonna go down into the individual cities. So San Francisco actually came in at the highest and that came in at $4.7 million. Wow, San Francisco, I did not realize how pricey that you are over there, man. So number two is Southern California. So what is considered Southern California? So basically they're saying Los Angeles and San Diego. So both of those combined on average is gonna be at 3.5 million. That's almost a million dollars under San Francisco, which is kind of crazy. I don't know what's going on with that West Coast over there. I was kind of surprised to see that New York City was not in the one or two spot. So that was interesting, but it did come in at number three at $3.3 million. I'm not surprised that New York City came in under Southern California, but I am a little surprised that it came in under San Francisco, but I think the numbers have really been climbing in San Francisco recently. So we're gonna flash up the full list so you can see exactly which cities came in at the top 10. Now keep in mind, they're not in order when you look at the actual list. I don't know why the article felt like it was appropriate to not put them in order, but they did. But these are the cities that came in the top 12 list. And not a single one of these cities came in in the $1 million range, which is kind of crazy to think about. Like I said, a million dollars doesn't go nearly as far as it once did. From the article specifically, despite the lofty numbers, 48% of Americans say that they feel wealthy. And I think that also goes to show that sometimes people have really big financial goals that they want to achieve in their lifetime, which I think is great. I love being motivated. I definitely am the type of person who believes in being motivated and goal-driven, of course. But at the same time, I think that a lot of people underestimate how much money they actually need to live a good, happy life. It's something that I honestly, not to get too philosophical on you guys, but it's something that I think about all the time is that I do have really, really big financial goals, but I also sometimes think that even though I have those goals, I don't need that amount of money to be happy either. There's other things that make me happy. It's more just kind of like career points that I want to hit rather than like that money is going to make me super, super happy overall. So from the article, seven out of 10 Americans polled saying that wealth is more about not stressing over money rather than the actual net worth. I completely agree with that. I think that a lot of people in business and investing love to talk about net worth and it's important. Everyone should know what their net worth is, but at the same time, people get so, so, so caught up in the numbers and it almost kind of consumes you, takes over your whole life. And we all have to remember that wealth is not just about numbers game. It is about how you feel and your lifestyle that you're able to get from that wealth and the impact that you're making on other people. So that is gonna be more important than the actual number that you see on a paper. And I know, I know that's easier said than done, but, but sometimes you just can't only get caught up in that. So let's break down the details of the survey. The online survey was conducted in March of 2023 and with a sample of 500 to 750 local residents for each metropolitan area. And then between the ages of 20 and 75. So pretty big sample pool there. What do you guys think? How much money do you consider as wealthy? And I also think that it's really going to vary for you guys depending on where you live and that's completely okay. So I remember when there was a time in my life when I had absolutely nothing where $100,000 seemed like the best thing in the entire world. And I can say that I've come a long way since then, but sometimes those little things are a great reminder of the past.